So you want to be an astrophotographer, but you don't know where to stop burning your cash. Well, my friend, you've come to the right place. My name is Ali Nabedli and welcome to Astra Pharma. One of the most frustrating things I faced as an astrophotographer was that nobody ever gave me a straight answer. I would read an article that stated that, for example, the mount is the most important piece of equipment that you need to buy, but then it would leave it at that. Nobody ever gave me suggestions. Well, I guess that's to be expected. There is so much variety out there and everybody's biased towards their own experiences. However, I have an unhealthy obsession with astro equipment, so I've put together a list of complete astrophotography rigs for you to choose from. We're gonna start with a budget, complete, true astrophotography rig starting at $2,000, and then we're gonna move on to the most expensive beginner rig that I recommend, the one that I call the future-proof astrophotography rig. Now, please keep in mind that I have not been contacted by any of these companies or asked to promote any of these products, my words, my own, based on my own research and experience, so rest assured, there is no outside influences here. Also, this is not the kind of video where I teach you to adapt your current photography experience to astrophotography. For example, if you have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, you'll find these kind of videos and articles plenty online. So I'm not gonna reiterate. This is a true astrophotography setup that we're gonna build today. This is not to say that you can't produce some high quality images with these kind of cameras. At the end of the day, it's a sensor collecting light. I've seen some of the best astrophotography images using DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. Today, however, we're gonna dive into the deep end and I've chosen some equipment that would still be useful and even vital to you in the future once you level up from beginner to intermediate or even advanced. I still use some of the same equipment that I started with years ago. I know I've talked a lot, but I would also like to add that this is not a review for the individual components we're gonna mention here. You'll find those scattered online as well. So let me quickly explain the structure of this video before we even start. I've put together six astrophotography rigs for you to choose from, and some of the equipment in these rigs are gonna be the same from rig to rig, and I've also included savings plans for each setup. These are alternative equipments that are cheaper that you can interchange with the ones in the regular setup, and they shouldn't drop the quality of your rig too much. So without further ado, let's get started with the first rig. We'll start things off with an incredible little wide field scope, the Ascar FMA 180 Pro that you can take incredible images with and you can use it in the future as a guide scope or even with a full frame camera. It has an F ratio of 4.5, so it's not a slow scope by any means. It also has 55 millimeters of back focus, which is the industry standard. So your choices of astro cams is virtually unlimited. It also has a small saddle that you can use for your guide scope, which I'll mention in a second, or any other equipment that you wish to adapt to the scope. For $400, it's a steal. We're gonna pair the scope with an astrophotography camera that has a small size sensor, the ASI 585MC, which would give us the options to shoot with cooling, which is a great advantage. The small size sensor is equipped with small pixels, which should make it more palatable. And here are some examples of the field of view of this telescope and camera. The camera will set you back $600. Guiding is essential for any astrophotography setup, so we're gonna add the small ZWO 30mm guide scope for $99, and also the small ASI 120mm mini guide camera for $150. Our new scope is gonna sit atop the Sky Adventure GTI from Skywatcher, which should give us go-to capabilities as well as plate solving with the right software. It's gonna set us back $740 and that's gonna bring our total to $1,990. The Star Adventure GTI is a great little portable mount that has 11 pounds of payload or five kilograms and you can adapt it in the future with any wide field setup that you put together. So where can we save some money here? Well, you can interchange the guide scope and guide camera with the SV165 guide camera and scope combination from SV Bunny and save yourself $120, bringing down your total to $1,870. For the second rig, we're only gonna switch the telescope. If you have more cash to burn, I would highly recommend that you switch to the Red Cat 51 from William Optic. You'll hear people singing this scope's praises all over the internet. It has a higher focal length and it's a Pitzval design as well, so back focus should not be an issue here. It's also compatible with many focusers, hint for later, and it's a telescope that you'll have a hard time convincing yourself of selling even when you level up in the future. You'll see a lot of advanced astrophotographers using it still. It also has a larger aperture, which is always welcomed, and you can as well use it with a full frame camera in the future if you wish. With the same accessories as the previous setup, the total is gonna be $2,490. I personally believe that with some searching, you can probably get some better refractors than the Red Cat 51 for the same price. However, keep in mind that we're still constrained by the payload limit of our mount, so the Red Cat 51 was the best choice in my opinion. You can also utilize the same saving options for the previous setup by switching to the SV Body Guide equipment, and that's gonna bring down your total by $120. So for our third rig, we're gonna add the ZWO electronic autofocuser for an additional $200, and we're gonna switch the camera to everybody's favorite square side sensor, the ASI 533MC. 
This camera has long been a lot of people's recommendation for a beginner camera, and with the new Zero Amp Glow version, I have to agree that it's a great choice. You won't have any trouble finding reviews for this camera online, a lot of people use it. It's gonna cost you $200 more than the 585MC, but if you don't mind spending the extra cash, you will never regret buying this camera. So if you opt for this rig, it's gonna cost you $2,890, but you can still make some savings here. You can still switch the guiding equipment to save $120 like previously, and you can also get the Gemini focuser from AliExpress, which is gonna save you an additional $120. That's gonna bring down your total to $2,690. With this rig, you'll have a full astrophotography setup, complete with guiding and autofocus capabilities. You can definitely stop pushing your budget right now and still produce some award-winning images. Let me show you your field of view for this camera and telescope, and we're gonna move on to the next rigs. Keep in mind that the prices now are gonna jump exponentially. Now, some people may consider these rigs intermediate or even advanced, and for the price, they ought to be. But in terms of difficulty, they're pretty comparable. So if you've been saving up for a big spending spree, then the next three rigs are for you. Here, we'll dip our toes into the future with a shiny new harmonic mount called the AM3 from ZWO. It can handle 8 kilograms or 17 pounds of payload with no counterweight, or 13 kilograms or 28 pounds of payload with a 5 kilogram counterweight. The mount itself weighs 3.9 kilograms, which is pretty amazing when you think about the payload that it can handle. It's a huge step up from the Star Adventure, and the harmonic revolution is here, so I can't in good conscience not recommend a harmonic mount for these rigs. The price, however, is quite expensive at $1,800 for the mount and the carbon fiber tripod from ZWO. And with our new harmonic mount, of course, we're gonna increase our aperture to a 71 millimeter aperture telescope that has 490 millimeters of focal length, the Ascar 71F, it's also a four element flat field design like the previous telescopes with an F ratio of 6.9 and you can also get a focal reducer for it in the future if you wish. The telescope also has great integration capabilities with other accessories and with the same camera and guiding equipment from the previous rig, you'll have yourself a time machine worthy of your money and time. It's gonna cost you $600, which is cheaper than the Red Cat 51, so it should ease some of the shock from the AM3 mount. <laughs> That's gonna bring our total to $3,650, but you can still make some savings here if you switch to the SV Bonnie guiding equipment and the Gemini focuser. And you can also switch the mount, the AM3, with the G-Way 17, which is a mount that I reviewed on this channel, and save yourself $162. It's a bigger mount that has higher payload, and I've used it myself with great success. It has 13 kilograms of payload or 28 pounds without a counterweight or 39 pounds or 18 kilograms of payload with a counterweight. So it's actually a lot higher than the AM3 while still being cheaper if you buy it with the right adapter and the tripod. If you decide to go with all these saving options, that's gonna bring down the price to $3,250. That's around $400 of savings. But if you still want something better, let's have a look at the fifth setup, which is not for the faint of heart. So for the penultimate rig, we're gonna keep everything the same except the camera. We're gonna to switch to an APS-C sized camera, the ASI 2600MC, which is my personal favorite camera. I still use it in both mono and one-shot color. It is truly an amazing camera and it's probably the industry standard right now, so you don't have to worry about it going out of fashion anytime soon. It is, however, a big jump in price with the camera itself costing $1,500. So if you decide to build this rig without any of the saving options, that's gonna jack up the price to $4,350. I know. <laughs> Rest assured, there are some saving options here that you can employ. I found a camera with the same sensor from a company called TopTech on AliExpress for $1,090, which is gonna save you around $300. In addition to the previous saving options, the SV Bonnie guiding equipment, the Gemini focuser, and the JWay 17 mount, you can bring down the price by $700, totaling at $3,650. Oh boy, the final rig, and what I like to call the future-proof astrophotography setup. It is very expensive, so let's just try to keep our composure until the end. So with the final rig, we're gonna switch to an 80 mm refractor and a 0.76 full-frame reducer, as well as the monochrome version of the previous camera we discussed, complete with an electronic filter wheel, an OEG, and a full set of broadband and narrowband filters. In addition to that, we're gonna to switch to a harmonic mount of mythical capabilities. Most definitely overkill for a beginner, but hey, who am I to judge? I'm of course talking about the ZWO FF80 refractor, the AM5 mount, and the ASI 2600MM. Our new telescope is gonna have an F ratio of 5.7 once we install the reducer, and the AM5 is gonna have 13 kilograms of payload without a counterweight, or 20 kilograms of payload with a counterweight. The total price of this setup is, brace yourself, $7,300. 
We can still make some savings, but it's still gonna be expensive. <laughs> you can save about $100 with the telescope if you go for the Ascar FRA 400 71 mm telescope. It has a smaller aperture, but it's a bit faster if you get it with the reducer. You can also save a juicy $930 if you go for the TopTech camera, filter wheel, and OAG from AliExpress and stick with the ZWO filters. And if you go with the JWay 17 the SV Bonnie guiding equipment, and the Gemini Focuser, your total savings are gonna be around $1,850 which is pretty great. So here you have it. Choose wisely and clear skies to you all. This one took a lot of time and effort, so I'd appreciate it if you liked, comment, and subscribe. I will include a full PDF file with all the information of this video down in the description. And I will also do my best to include links for each of the individual components in this video. This has been Astra Pharma, and thank you for watching.